Hello everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of my vlog. As you can see I'm smoking a pipe today. Uh, and the tobacco I'm using is Rattray's Terry Red, which is infused with <coughs> cherry and rum. You can definitely smell the cherry when you open up uh, the, the tin. And this is an aromatic, so it doesn't really smell like tobacco. It gives a nice smell. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten how to fill my pipe properly yet. It's a fine art, and uh, if you don't do it right, it'll keep going out a lot more than it normally would. But anyway, today, I just I thought, after having a few uh, odd ones recently, I'd like to talk about dreams. Yeah, pretty much everybody has them. Some people don't remember them. Uh, some of mine stick with me for longer than others. You know, sometimes you know I can know I, I can I can be I'll be dreaming. I wake up, I remember for a little while, and then by you know within a few hours, that I've forgotten that. Uh, but. Something that uh, I'm not sure if everybody else can do or not, but when I'm dreaming, I know when I'm dreaming. Like if there's a very weird or dangerous situation um, in a in a dream. And I think, whoa, this is, uh, this is, this isn't normal, this isn't safe, uh, and then I think, you know, I, I, I stand and I think for a while, am I dreaming? Yes, I'm dreaming. Let's just carry on then. You know, I've done a little bit of uh, research into dreams, you know, what? You know things in them can mean, and the 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 way the way the way I think of it is, uh, dreams are manifestations of our you know subconscious thoughts. You know, if we're worried about something, we'll dream about it. If, uh, if there's something that we really like, sometimes we'll dream about it. If there's someone in our lives, you know, that we care a lot about we'll dream about. And there are a few recurring themes in my dreams. Uh, one of them is driving and the brakes don't work or don't work very well at all and I either have an accident or nearly have an accident. Now it's not really an accident. I'm not sure if I've ever actually had a, had a proper car crash in a dream. It's more like... Hmm. I scraped the side of my car along something. Um, or, you know, the, the traffic lights go red, I slam, you know, I put my foot on the brakes and the brakes don't work and I go flying through and, you know, narrowly avoid hitting other cars and stuff. Uh, you know, general things like that. And another one that used to happen a lot that doesn't happen so often anymore but still does on occasion is dreaming about school but not when like for example you know it'll be the Christmas or the summer holidays and I'll dream about going to school and I'll be like hang on a minute this isn't right this is you know you know it's three days till Christmas why are we at school uh, and whenever I would ask anybody in my dreams about it, because I've, I've always had some sort of semi-lucid ability in my dreams, um, 
you know, you know sometimes I can make conscious decisions and whatnot. Uh, you might ask them, you know, why are we here? It's, you know, it's Christmas, we shouldn't be at school. Nobody had a clue. You know, uh, quite recently I had a dream where I walked into one of my old science classes and one of my science teachers was, was teaching. Uh, it wasn't the science. It was weird. It, it wasn't the science teacher that was in that room. Um, that was. It was uh, Mr. Peacock's lab room. Uh, but the other science teacher, Mrs. Pugsley, was there. Um, and. You know, I mean, that, that wasn't necessarily odd on occasions you would teach in there. Um, but, you know, I was looking around, I recognised all the faces, and I was like, hang on a minute, why are these people here? They left school years ago. Why am I here? And, you know, I asked Mrs. Pugsley, you know, why are all these people here that should have graduated years ago? And she said, oh, they were held back. Keep in mind, it's been... Ten years since I left compulsory education, so yeah, that, that was a bit odd. But, uh, yeah, Dreamy decided, oh well, yeah, it wasn't really something that I could question, because I didn't have all the answers, but uh, Mrs. Pugsley just said, you know, as soon as you're here, you may as well learn. Uh, all right then. I, you know, I sat down with the rest of them, did some of the lesson. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was probably the number one recurring dream theme throughout my life. Uh, being at school when I wasn't supposed to. Um, yeah. Yeah, me, it being that I have this sort of semi-lucid state while I'm dreaming, I can recognise when I'm dreaming. Uh, a lot of the times I can also recognise when... Uh, for example, I, I would try to think, hang on a minute, have I been here before? And I think, and I'll have memories of being there, like, is this a real memory or is it a dream memory? And I can tell the difference between real memories and dream memories for the most part. Um, and the dream world feels slightly different. You know, there's a, di like a different feel. It's almost like as if uh, you know, the air is electrified somewhat, and uh, yeah, which is one of the reasons why I can normally tell that I'm dreaming. Uh, something else that um, tends to happen a fair amount is. Uh, you know, either falling down or kneeling down to do something and then really, really struggling to get up, you know, like I'll be, um, one particular one I recall, uh, was I knelt down in the dining room to, uh, pet one of my cats and I had to pull on the chairs and the tables in order to be able to stand up again. It's like my legs were partially paralysed. Uh, which is probably, which could be, um, you know, my brain recognizing that, you know, suffering from sleep paralysis, obviously, um, and me try, and my dream self sort of being aware of that paralysis, yet still trying to move around in the dream. Definitely, uh, it's quite disconcerting and frustrating. Another one I remember from years and years ago was uh, 
you know, I was crossing the road outside my aunt and uncle's house. I trip over in the road and there's a car coming and I can't get up. So, uh, you know, I'm struggling to, to stand up. I can't stand up. Okay. There's a car coming. I've got to drag myself out of the way of the road. And that was, it, you know, it's, it's frightening, but also at the same time, I recognize that it's not real. So it's not, not something that is, you know, particularly worrisome if you catch my drift. Apologies for the uh, for the wind noise. It's like almost feels like gale force winds right now. The car's being buffeted around. Anyway, uh, uh, I I had a. Uh, friend a few years ago, uh, you know, we talked about dreams and the difference between her dreams and mine and everything, and, uh, you know, she she was a full lucid dreamer, she, she could control it, pretty much everything in her dreams, and she didn't like dreams, where she was sort of like a, uh, well, the best way I can describe it is, you know, you're a character in a movie, but you're watching the movie as well as taking part in it, if that makes sense. And that's generally what my dreams are like. Uh, you know, I've, I've got this sort of semi-lucid state, you know, where I can tell them in a dream, and you know, I can sometimes I can somewhat influence what the dreams are doing. You know, I can ask questions and stuff. But uh, lucid dreaming, where I have full control, on the few times that I've had full lucid dreams, I haven't enjoyed them in the way that I normally enjoy dreams. It's like. Um, If I have control over it, it's, it doesn't feel the same to me. It's like, you know, I want to be surprised at stuff. Um, I want it to be like a, a ride, effectively. Um, and when I'm lucid dreaming, and the easiest way for me to do that is, you know, you, you know, sort of, um, you're in the middle of a dream, and you sort of, you half wake up. You know, you could open your eyes and you could, you know, wake up fully, but, you know, you keep your eyes closed without actually, uh, you know, not, not fully waking up. Then the dream stops becoming a regular dream and starts becoming a lucid dream. You know, I can, you know, quite, quite happily sit there and, you know, f sort of continue on the dream, as it were. Um, well, you know, with complete full control, but... Like I said, I, you know, I don't enjoy that. I want to be taken for a ride when I have a dream. I don't, you know, like enjoy controlling every aspect of it. Uh, so. One of the, uh, another, th another thing that I tend to dream a lot about is, you know, I wouldn't say I, I have good good dreams very often. I have thrilling dreams. You know, like whether they be, you know, be zombie dreams or dreams involving dinosaurs. You know, like what, something that I will often dream about is, you know, being you know, trapped with a group of people at something, you know, akin to Jurassic Park, you know, where the dinosaurs have escaped and you, you know, you've got, you run, you know, running around all the time trying to escape them and uh, you know, locking yourself in yeah, you know, in vaults and whatnot. Uh, post I mean, that could be the reason why I like games like Amnesia, because you know that's a lot. A lot of what you're doing is very similar to those dreams. Or I could be dreaming that because I like games like Amnesia. Uh, I'm not sure which way around it is, but mm. yeah, zombies and dinosaurs. I tend to dream about quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, they're they're enjoyable dreams. They're thrilling dreams. You know, it's fun to you know to be scared. And I'm not I'm not sure if I would necessarily call them nightmares because you know I'm not generally scared. Like I said, it's more a thrilling dream. And 
Mm, that's something that you know, that tends to happen a lot. Uh, Last night that I can remember. Hmm. Unfortunately, not. Uh, one thing I do remember recently is um, this girl that I, this girl that I know was in. Well, I don't really know her. She's a uh, yeah, a South Korean singer. Uh, you know, she's younger than me. Uh, uh, and even, because even, even though she's not white or anything in this dream, she was my sister. Uh, that's the most recent one I can remember. Um, in the case... Uh, 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 no, that wasn't the most recent one I can remember. The most recent one I can remember is um, this house. Now, see, Dream Me thought well, it was me being aware that I was in a dream. I was thinking, this is, um, it, was an, it was an empty house, and a, uh, well, it could be abandoned. I'm not sure what would be the best way to describe it. Uh, but, um, you know, it still had stuff in it now. Dream Me recalled waking memories of this house, you know, seeing this house a lot. Um, one particular thing that, you know, it, you know, we would see it a lot as on the way to somewhere, and when we, you know, I was very, when I was very young, my mum would stop off and, you know, we would, you know, look at the house, you know, because, because it was interesting. Um, now, it wasn't a particularly old house, like something from the 50s or 60s, perhaps. Um, yeah, it was a detached house, willow trees around it. Uh, we couldn't actually go up to the house. Um, we could only stand outside the gate and have a look. I think that was... I think my mum said to me that... Uh, you know, I think the reason why we didn't go up to the house is because my mum said, you know, it, even though nobody lives there, it's still private property. You can't, you know, trespass on it. So, you know, we just looked from the gate. Now, see, so Dream Me's remembering this and uh, recalling having dreams about this house before. Sort of some detail. Uh, and then I'm like, but then I wake up remembering this dream that I've had. I'm like, does this house exist? Sometimes I, I mean, normally I can tell when a dream, when, sorry, when a memory is is um, a dream memory and not a waking memory, um, or real memory. And but sometimes I can't. And it's like when I woke up, I had no idea if this house actually existed or not. And even though I had memories, even though I still had memories of seeing it. Um, and I still had memories of having dreams about it. I wasn't sure still if that was real or not, or if that was just part of the dream that I just had. Um, but we'll be have to ask my mum about it. Uh, but yeah, it's disconcerting when I don't, when when I can't tell. You know, fantasy from reality. Um, you know, it's never anything extreme. It's just like you know, memories. Trying to remember if if uh, if certain things were something to do with a memory or not. Yeah. Some of my dreams are very weird. I don't off I don't I don't often have dreams about people I know outside of my immediate family. 
usually the people in my dreams are, uh, you know, you know, celebrities, you know, be the actors or singers or whatever, uh, filling a role in my dream, or it's sort of a generic person, probably that I've seen in the street before, um, but don't know them, and it's sort of like my dream is drawing on this, you know, these memories of, you know, faces that I can't, um, actively remember, um, and, you know, some of them will probably make pretty interesting movies. And on occasion I dream about Star Trek, not as often as I'd like. I think I'd uh, dream more often about being in the captain's chair than I do, but no, unfortunately. My dreams usually uh, are just you know pretty mundane, every everyday stuff. Uh, Like if I've ordered something online and I'm waiting for it and I'm excited to get it, you know, I will dream about it coming in the post and stuff and whatnot. Or, or something weird like uh, it arriving and my mum hiding it. And not that I think she'd ever actually do that, but... Uh, we can't control what we dream about for the most part. Uh, uh, I think there's some other stuff I remember from when I was younger, uh, you know, still at school. Uh, I'd off, uh, sometimes I'd dream about, uh, you know, a girl I had a crush on. Um, I'd dream about, you know, us, you know, going out and everything, you know, dating and being a couple and whatnot. Uh, and then it would get to the stage where I'd realise it was a dream and it would be like, oh, how disappointing. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can imagine everybody would probably find that disappointing. It's probably a dream that a lot of people have. Anyway, enough about dreams. Uh, with regards to things that have been going on in my life recently, I'm not sure if I said this in my last video because it has been a while, but I uh, sent off the forms for the personal independence payment. Uh, I've since found out about another benefit called um, Employment Support Allowance, which is for people who, you know, get signed off work sick or um, have some other, um, you know, mental or physical problems that prevent them from working for a length of time. You know, the doctor will give them a sick, what's, well, what was known as a sick note. I can't remember what it what it's called now, but... Uh, um, you, you get that you get that from your doctor and then you can apply for for this benefit for the time that you're out of work and uh, I rang up my doctor I'd wire well, I've tried I tried to get an appointment with my doctor um, you know I couldn't get one with with her I couldn't get one with anybody at my local doctor's surgery which was incredibly annoying, um, but when my parents were going down there anyway to do something, so they asked, so they asked, and they ended up coming back and saying that um, the doctor would call me. She's uh, go get there having some surgery, so she's got some time off for work and everything. So yeah, I mean that's understandable. Bloody thing. Uh, yeah, so I told her what I wanted. Uh, 
and asked her if she'd be willing to, to do that for me. She said, you know, yeah, she was. She was giving me a signal for three months. Hopefully I'll be able to, you know, get some extended time on that because clearly I'm, uh, you know, considering that I last that my last job was a year ago this month, uh, he, he, he doesn't really think, I don't think that three months is going to be long enough, but uh, we'll see. So when that arrives in the post, I'll uh, ring up the benefits helpline again and uh, get them to uh, sign up me up for it. Yeah, I mean, I hope I can employment support allowance for a bit longer than three months but I mean if the personal independence payment is a decent amount of money then uh, I won't really have to worry about that which is more that I'm getting in job seekers allowance or the same as I'm getting in job seekers allowance then I can probably just come off job seekers allowance and subsist on a uh, personal independence payment Yeah, uh, the else going on? Um, hmm. But really, uh, my toe is no longer purple, but it still hurts if it touches stuff, so, uh, probably is broken and it's probably going to take quite a while to heal, if it ever heals. Thankfully it no longer hurts when I walk so I'm not hobbling around and I don't need this, the cane anymore. Anyway, anyway uh, I think I'll end it there because I don't really have anything more to talk about. Uh, yeah. Hope you all uh, have a good week. Seeing you.